Hey, Mike and Mike's Bags. Today I'm reviewing the Gator by Nola Bags. Let's go ahead and dive in, break these bags down. This Gator is a carpet bag. It's a unique material. At first glance, you kind of look at it, you think it's that Viking slow side carpet, and it's really not. You start looking into it, it it's definitely a different material. It's a thicker material than that. It actually plays a little faster, which is something that the speed, it took me a while to really nail the speed on this bag because I, I look at this material and I feel the material in my mind. I'm like, this is this is a tr this is a traditional carpet. This is a four speed. It should play a four. And it just plays faster than that. And, and I don't feel like it should. So it took me a while to really settle in. I, I, I almost want to call it a five speed, right? I really do. It, it's it's a slow five or a fast four. So, you know, I to me, I'm going to call it a slow five, maybe, maybe between a four and a half and a five, somewhere in that range. But it's definitely faster that if you throw traditional carpet bags like the, the BG Viking, the Reynolds Pro Advantage, and bags that use those type of carpet materials. This is faster than that, than, than those bags. Just a, just a touch faster. It still has all the control and shot shape capabilities you get with the traditional carpet bag, but you've got a little bit faster speed. And that faster speed actually makes this material a little more hole friendly because you don't have quite as much friction with the material on the boards, which means the bags don't hang up as much. And I found these bags to really drip in the hole more like the hybrid materials do than the traditional carpet. I think that's that's what you get by getting that touch faster speed is you get a little more, more hole friendliness, a little less hanging up on the hole in the bag. Um, I, I really like the way this, this material plays. I will say it is a thicker material, as I mentioned. It takes a while to break in. You have to give this bag time. Even if you have a process, a uh, product, whatever that you do to break in bags, you still have to get out and throw this bag. And if you throw carpet normally traditionally you, you'll know that carpet always takes time to break in it's going to take some days of throwing weeks of throwing the bag of beating it up of abusing the bag to get the carpet material to break in and this is no exception so if you buy a set of these gators give them time i promise you give them time and they will get better and they'll play like you want to once you get this material to break in fully so, so looking at about a four and a half five speed on the slow side here fast side this is this is another unique material to nola it's the same fast side they use on the mud bug uh, they might use it on some other bags i'm, I'm not positive on that but it, i don't know of any other company outside of nola that's using either of these two materials right now so this is this fast side it's an eight speed it's a really thin material it's a great matchup to this this carpet because it has just enough speed to push and collect. So if you're throwing blockers, you can clean up the messes, but it's not blazing fast. It's uncontrollable. You've got, you, you got to, you still have some control with this fast side. If you need to flip it over and go fast side, sneak a bag in or something, you can do it and not really worry about a bag flying off the back of the board. So speed wise, four and a half to five on the slow, eight on the fast. Template on this Gator is a, it's a medium template bag, medium amount of fill in here, medium amount of flop. It is not an overly floppy bag. Right, these, I mean, these bags may not be fully broken yet. Uh, I've thrown them quite a bit. They may get a little more, more flop to them, but it's not an overly floppy bag. I really like the, because this material is a little thicker on the bottom, it keeps a little bit of a little bit of the structure to it. So if you don't like a floppy bag, but you don't want a full bouncy bag, I think that's what you get this Gator is you get a little bit of that, the 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 not quite as much bounce with a fuller bag, but you don't get that really sloppy floppy bag on there. The fill in here is a mixed fill and it'll use, I love the fill. If you watch my reviews, you know, mixed fill is my favorite speed just because you, you get the best of both worlds and honestly this bag doesn't really need 100 bead fill i think if you put 100 bead fill in this bag this is going to become a super bouncy bag a bag that's hard to control it's going to kick on you a lot i mean this material has kicked to it right now even even now it has kick but if you throw a carpet you know that carpet bags are going to kick on you there's kick to it by putting a mixed fill and mixing some flat in with the with the round beads it takes some of that kick out it's still there so if you don't throw a perfect flat bag it's going to kick on you but it's, it's, it's a controllable kick. As long as you're consistent with your with your tilt of your back, you can adjust your landing and you can play that and, and, and get away with it. But that kick also leads to the cutability. This bag is, is very easy to cut. I love the shot shape and I have with this, the cuts, the rolls, the flops. You get all of that in this bag like you would a traditional carpet bag. It, it really, there's there's no shots this bag really can't do. Uh, I love the I love the options it give you. And I, I'm a player where I like to get up, I like to play blockers and cuts more than rolls or flops. And, and this really fits my style of game extremely well. These bags have the ACL stamp on these ACL Pro stamp for 2024. So if you play an ACL event, you can throw the Gators. Let's go ahead and jump in and talk about playability. So I've, I've already started touching on that a little bit. And this is a bag, It's this, this bag is really designed for the, dirty style player if you like to get up there and throw blocker after blocker and and cause a lot of chaos and then clean it up on your last bag this is that's where this bag shines it really shines on the dirty boards because of the because of the options it gives you you know once you get blockers up there you get you get bags in the way congestion on the hole now you've got the ability to throw those harsh cuts to throw the rolls to throw the flops to get creative with this bag and this bag it really shines in those environments because this is this is a little bit faster on that than the traditional carpet you can run bags in the hole and i have no problem you can watch here that's 
that's what I'm doing a lot of is just running bags in the hole. It does a great job of that. Like, like I was shocked that I didn't have as many bags hang up as I thought I would. Typically, carpet materials hang up a lot. And even if it does, if it does hang up, it's it's very easy to collect. Because it's not a super sloppy, floppy bag, super easy to collect. The bag's hanging up there. Usually, the next bag coming in is going to catch it and pull it in. If you need to, you, you got the ability to throw those cuts, come across, and, and get aggressive and grab it, pull the bag in if you have to. If you're throwing blockers up there, like I said, you've got a ton of control, but blockers where you want on the board, you know, level one, level two, level three blockers. You can put them anywhere you want, and you've got the speed on the fast side to come down, collect it, clean it up. And because the bags are not that floppy, as I mentioned, collectability, you're just clipping a corner. You just catch that corner. It's going to push and take the bags in for you. So you can get a little more aggressive putting that bag on your opponent's side, knowing that even if you miss, go too far over, you've got the ability to throw that cut grab it and pull the bag back in play or even bring it into the hole for you so you've got a ton of options this bag i really like the playability of this bag and and what what it does for you so who is this bag designed for for in my mind this is designed and geared towards the carpet bag thrower if you're really more of a traditional carpet bag thrower like that like i said the, the runs for advantage the bg vikings those style of bags those style of carpet materials that's what you like but maybe you want a bag that's just a touch faster that's what you get in this gator right it's a touch faster uh, slow side on this yet the same control you get with those style bags maybe you want it maybe you play you know you play carpet but every now and then you get to some boards that are just slower than others and you want a bag you're, you're having a hard time throwing those slower four speed carpet bags as fast you need to get the board something like this can step in and and, and and you can play it if you're a hard thrower if you're a hard thrower and you're trying to find a bag maybe you don't like those really super slow carpet bags you want something just a touch faster maybe you like some of these hybrid materials out here these five six speed bags but you want something with a little more control to it. That's what you're going to get this Gator. So it kind of falls in, in, in that range. I definitely think it's it's more of a control style game, still more of that dirty style game. It, it, again, like I mentioned, you can run you can run bags in the hole for it, but it, that's not really the best option for it. And, it. and NOLA has other bags that are better if you're just a hole runner and you're looking for something like that. They've got other bags better better suited for that. This is really that dirty style game for, for all the shot shapings and the congestion, and that's where it really shines. And, and even me playing and, and throwing here in this open boards, it doesn't show really showcase what this bag can do. This is a bag that just plays so much better when you're in competition, when you're playing against opponents, especially if you're playing against an opponent who likes to throw dirty bags as well, and you're both putting blockers up there. That's when this bag really shines, and, and you really see all the things it can do. But definitely recommend it. If you're a carpet bag thrower, this is this is definitely a bag to add to your arsenal because it is a little different. It has a little, some different speeds. It plays a little different than traditional carpet, although it has that similar feel to it. So definitely a bag that you want to add if you're a carpet bag lover. Add the set of gators to your, to your bag. Leaves me an availability. NOLA has a website, nolabags.com. These gators are 70 bucks uh, for a set of them, and it's $10 shipped, so 80 bucks shipped to you all in. Phenomenal price for an ACL Pro Stand bag, one of the better prices out there. So if you've been looking to, maybe maybe you, you, you're you intrigued by this, maybe you, you want to try a carpet bag, you haven't thrown one yet, give these gators a chance. I think you're going to love them as much as I have. If you've thrown them, I'd love your feedback, what you like, what you don't like. Drop a comment down below. Give me your feedback on these bags. I always love hearing you guys' opinions. I thank you so much for your support. And I thank you for watching.